Myrtle Beach Fire Department hosted its annual Rhonda Brown Charity Golf Tournament for breast cancer awareness today. Ashley Listrom was at Top Golf where they had the opportunity to take part in the fundraiser, which is helping families try to get a hole in one during their cancer treatment. It's still emotional, you know? You never think you're gonna, it's going to happen to you. Monica Green still gets emotional thinking about her cancer diagnosis. I had stage two breast cancer and I was diagnosed when I was 39. Last year, donations from the Myrtle Beach Fire Department's Rhonda Brown Charity Golf Tournament helped cover her treatment. It's nice to know that you have a whole family around you that's going to help you. This charity golf tournament started over a decade ago to honor Rhonda Brown, a secretary for the Myrtle Beach Fire Department. Myrtle Beach Fire Department Captain John Evans says Brown passed away in 2011 after a battle with breast cancer. But she was like a second mother to a lot of people. Even myself who lives here, she was just another person I could count on. If you, if you had a problem, Rhonda would fix it for you. In her honor, the community continues to come together to raise money for local cancer organizations. This year, the tournament had 15 teams compete for prizes donated by sponsors. The winning team also gets their name engraved on a champion award. Captain Evans says last year they raised over $4,000, but hopes they'll raise more this year to support those battling cancer. I'm hoping to get closer to five or six this year, uh, but we still have room to grow for next time. We have a lot more bays we want to fill with sponsors and teams, always trying to get more people out. While Green is cancer free now, she says participating in this golf tournament helps her give back. Grateful, just grateful for all the help they've given us and know that we can help others too. Even if you didn't get to golf this weekend, you can still donate to MB Fire Cares online. In Myrtle Beach, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.